Okay, everyone. Thank you so much for streaming our latest episode of Surprise Guest with Pia Arcangel. Thank you for joining us. Hindi ko alam as usual kung sino ang ating makakasama today. So, samahan niyo ako at sabay-sabay tayong ma-surprise in this episode. So, hi, Surprise Guest. How are hi, you? Hi, Pia. Hi, Pia. How are you? Oh my God, I know that voice. <laughs> oh my Hala God, Sir Richard, is that you? <laughs> Ang bilis mo naman makahula. Ay nako, Sir Richard. Because yung bosses na yan ay talagang, alam na alam ko because I watch your shows. Wait, sorry. Okay, I have to ano, fan myself. Hindi ko inexpect. <laughs> We met for the first time dun sa Thanksgiving Ball ng GMA. Medyo brinaso yeah. ko pa si Lynn nun. I asked her to introduce me. <laughs> As I already told you, when I first met you, I'm a huge fan of yours. How are you po? <laughs> I'm good, I'm good. I've been working, taping, So, uh, been busy. What was your last show po? Was it I, I Left, left my, heart my Heart in Sorsogon? In Sorsogon, yes. You're already part of the Kapuso Network and you've been Kapuso mm. for, is it three years already? Or tama po ba no. ako sa bilang ko? Uh, Since more than a year pa lang. Tw- okay, 2021. 2020, 2021. Thereabouts. Yeah, uh, end of 2020. Ah, okay. End of 20. So, uh, mag to two years na. Wow. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, How would you describe being a part of the Kapuso Network? I feel so at home here because people are so nice. Even the people that I've never met before, especially during the GMA Thanksgiving Gala, even the the actors, the actresses that I've never met, they're all so warm and welcoming. That's the, you know, that's really the theme that nakikita ko all throughout Even with the people I've never worked with, they're all very nice. So you feel at ease wherever you are. I'm, I'm really, you know, just I'm really happy to be here. Who are some of the Kapuso stars na hindi mo pa nakakatrabaho na gusto mo makatrabaho? Uh, Solen, Yusa. I told her ah, okay. that. <laughs> Nagkita kami. <laughs> Pero sabi ko, uh, hindi ka pa pwede. Malaki pa yun. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Manganganak pa siya. <laughs> oh, Manganganak muna siya, yeah. Madami pa naman, you know. Uh, there's mm-hmm. so many of them that I haven't worked with. So, ako, I'm willing to work with anyone naman eh. It's, it's nice to get to know everyone and be able to work with them. I remember, um, Sir Richard, when you first guested on Eat Bulaga sa Bawal Judgmental, mm-hmm. it was yes. such a big deal. Was that your first guesting on GMA? Yes, yes. <laughs> ah, okay, okay. So, that's when everyone's like, wow, kapuso na si Sir Richard. So, uh, yung first time na pa lang na yon, you felt already the welcoming vibe, I guess, if that's the right term. Yeah, yeah. But uh, actually, um, at that time, I, wala pang usapan na I was going to move. But uh, in 2019, I, I was offered a show actually in, in GMA, but I was doing something else at that time. Kaya hindi ko, hindi ko natanggap. For that, I had an offer and then one no, nag, nagkaroon ng pandemic and all that. And then after that, yung itbulaga na uh, guesting lang ang first appearance ko sa GMA. <laughs> and then after that, tuloy-tuloy na. So, I Left My Heart in Sarsagod was the first project you did. Yes, yes. Mm-hmm. How would you describe that? That was wonderful. It was a very good experience, actually. I'd have to say, you know, I, I'm very thankful to all the cast also. Sila Ka Hart, si Paolo. They really made made an effort to make me feel na parang hindi ako left out and all that. Di ba? Kasi, for, like, our first scene with Hart, we've never met before. We met on the set for our first day of uh, taping. Nakita kami sa doon sa source of guns. Our second scene was a kissing scene already. Ah. So parang awkward. <laughs> Ang bilis diba? naman noon. Oo. Yeah. But uh, heart really made, made me feel at peace na. Parang, parang ganun. Basta she did, mm-hmm. she, she said something and all that. Sabi ko, okay. Very cool si heart. And from then on, okay na. Everything went uh, smoothly. It was so easy to work with them. How long were you taping in Sarsagon? Uh, we were there for about a month. Mm-hmm. And then the next two lock-ins, we were just here in, uh, in Metro Manila. First time niyo po yun sa Sarsagon? Um, no, I've been there before. So meron ka ng idea what the place was like? Yeah, but I've never been to the place just kung saan kami nag-taping. <laughs> But I was there for work also, like, like show and all that. Uh-huh. Now I'm doing Abot Kamay na Pangarap. 
abot kamay na pangarap. Okay. Yes. And are you in taping now, Sir Richard? Nakabreak lang ba kayo? No, actually, we had an immersion this morning. We were at the hospital because we're playing doctors here as uh, surgeons. So we were in the operating room this morning, oh, uh, wow. you know, trying to be familiar with everything that goes on in the operating room. Napaka intense naman. No? You know, actually, when they first told me na the guest will be coming from an immersion, I wasn't sure what that meant. Kasi because from my experience, immersion means, you know, punta ka ng probinsya, tapos, you know, parang outreach program. So yun pala ang ibig sabihin ng immersion when it comes to acting. Yes, yes. We have to research on what we're going to do so that we'll be credible playing what we are supposed to be playing. Nako, it, there's so much work pala to really put into one particular role, no? I mean, sometimes hindi natin ina-expect yun from an actor kasi for most of us, it's really just an appreciation of what we see on cam. Yeah, especially for this one because uh, you can't just wing it if you want to play a doctor, you know? There are so many medical terms that might be incorrect if you say it and there are so many things that you do that might not be believable if you do it if you don't know the proper way to do it. We really have to learn the proper way of doing all these things. So, ano bang kwento, Sir Richard, ng uh, Abot Kamay Ang Pangarap? Uh, it's actually about a girl who, who didn't give up on her dreams, who became the youngest neurosurgeon. So, it's about uh, Jillian Ward, and she plays Dr. Annalyn Santos. That's what this territory is all about. But uh, there's a lot of uh, not only... For career, there's also, of course, a love story involved, family. A lot of things are mixed up together in this, but it's also an inspirational show on how to never give up on, on your dreams because whatever comes your way, you can always get through it. Something like that. <laughs> and, and your role here, Sir Richard, you're also a doctor. Yes, I'll be the one that will guide her to fulfill ah. her dreams also. Um, in a way, there's a, that's our connection with the uh, Dr. Santos. Oh, parang mentor, parang ganon. Mentor, tormentor, ganon. <laughs> <laughs> Both ways pala yon. Yeah. Is it your first time to play a doctor po? Uh, actually, yes, yes. But uh, we're, we're playing neurosurgeons here. So it's a very difficult part. But I wanted to be a neurosurgeon when I was younger. And I actually took up pre-med for two and a half years before my father stopped. Me. <laughs> so uh, if I can't be a real one, we might as well play it. <laughs> this is a dream role also. Really? I never knew na gusto niyo palang maging doctor. What was your pre-med course po? Uh, MedTech. Ah, med medical tech. Technology, yeah. I actually took it up for two years and one summer. And then my father told me to stop because he wanted me to go take a business course. After two terms in La Salle, I stopped again for a term because I, I wanted to go back to medicine. So I applied at uh, USP, but uh, they wanted me to go back to first year. Oh. So I said, well... Never mind. I've already lost three years of my college life. So, might as well finish business na lang. I guess it wasn't meant for me. <laughs> ang, ang hirap naman kasi, no? Three years already, tapos wala palang ikakredit yeah, doon? Yeah, wala silang ikakredit sa lahat. So, sabi ko, sayang naman yung oras ko for three years. Mm -mm. Yun, that's why I ended up being in business. Pero parang what sparked your interest and what made you want to become a doctor when you were younger? I'm assuming hindi kayo family of doctors and that your father was a businessman. That's why he wanted you to take up a business. Yeah, I've always wanted to help people uh, in a way. I've had this uh, siguro um, I ideal of being a knight in shining armor for, for the people who are sick and uh I have a sister who is a doctor also. Mm. Yun, I've always wanted, you know, it felt like something that I really wanted to do. Oh, okay. Pero for your sister, it wasn't difficult for her to ask permission to go to med school po. No, actually, yeah, she finished med school and she actually went abroad and became head of an OB gynae, you know, um, in a hospital in uh, Taiwan. Wow, okay. Pero... Sir Richard, kayo po ba ay uh, only son uh, sa pamilya niyo or panganay po ba kayo? No, I'm uh, the youngest actually and uh, two of us, two boys. The rest are all girls. So I have six sisters so mm -hmm. I grew up with women. <laughs> <laughs> six sisters? Grabe. <laughs> Ikaw ba yung tipong uh, baby brother na inaasar o baby brother na talagang binibaby? I think... Both ways. Of course, sila yung mag, ano sa akin, they the baby me, spoil me, but in a way, they would be the ones to bully me also. Hindi naman yung tipong binibihisan ka na parang babae. Kasi di ba sa pelikula, ganun yun, pag may baby brother, yung mga ate, gusto nilang binibihisan na parang babae yung kapatid nila. Actually, nangyari din yan. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> naalala nyo pa? <laughs> Oo, oh, naalala ko. Ilan taon kayo noon? I think I was less than 10 years old. Maybe six or eight, something like that. Oh my gosh, hindi ko ma-imagine si Sir Richard na binibihisa na parang babae ng kanyang mga ate. <laughs> <laughs> Pero all's forgiven na po. <laughs> uh, actually, parang isang beses lang naman yung nangyari. <laughs> ah, okay. At Hindi least na na-ulit. <laughs> at least isang beses lang. Pero hmm. Sir Richard, would you say that you grew up in a very traditional family? Traditional Chinese family? Kasi naalala ko yung episode ninyo ng uh, asawa nyo sa Magpakailanman with Tita hmm. Mel. And parang that's what struck me. Parang I got the impression that you grew up in a very traditional family. Yeah, um, actually, for the boys, yes. But my my dad was kind of double standard. Kasi for the girls, okay lang sa kanya na if, <laughs> if they got married to someone who was not Chinese. But for the boys, strict siya. He's not the all-out traditional na dapat pati girls. But uh, well, k- uh, kami, we got the, ano, yun yung para sa amin. He, he wanted us to really get married to Chinese, mm-hmm. Chinese uh, women. Which you did not do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Pwede niyo ba ikwento sa amin paano niyo na-circumvent yung desire na yon ng iyong father for you to marry a Chinese woman? Well, I grew up, I was born here, I grew up in, in Cebu, so I never really identified myself as I'm Chinese, you know. I grew up as a Filipino I, with Chinese blood and all that. And um, siguro, ganun talaga tayo, no? If you're, if you're Chinese, you look for someone who's not, and yet, uh, yung iba naman, yung Filipino, you look for someone who's a foreigner or whatever. So, <laughs> parang ganun. Ma- parang yung may, may taste in, uh, in uh, ladies usually became, usually hindi Chinese. There, there were one or two na, I think I had, a, I had one girlfriend who was Chinese, pero ayaw din ng dad ko. Because, sabi niya, she's too short for you. <laughs> mapili. <laughs> mapili talaga. <laughs> like, oh no. Okay. Uh, um, Hagang palikat lang ba yun, Sir Richard? <laughs> medyo. Medyo ma- okay, maliit okay. talaga. So anyway, um, since bata pa ako, yung mga type ko talaga, hindi Chinese. So wala akong magagawa. And when I was in college, I, I had a medyo matagal na girlfriend. Pero because of of that, parang pinaghiwalay rin kami. Mm. But when I got out of college, I was already working, sabi ko, kaya ko na to. So, so nung I found my wife now, when I met her, sabi ko, ipaglabang ko na to. Kasi, ito talaga ang ano ko eh, yung gusto ko eh. Kahit na may mga nirareto sa sa akin, hindi ko, hindi ko naman ano eh. I said, I can't, you know, I can't compromise and just do what you want because I'll be living with her for the rest of my life. So, pinaglaban ko na lang talaga. Even though at the expense of uh, not being in the family business or wala na yung support or whatever. So, yan. Matigas na talaga ulo natin. <laughs> <laughs> Grabe. Sir Richard, parang ano talaga yan, no? yung parang pang pelikulang love story na yung parang ipaglalaban mo at all costs yung babaeng minamahal mo. Was it the same with your wife's family? Was it difficult also for you to win over their affections knowing na in your family, she wasn't instantly accepted. You know, thankfully, hindi. Because when I met uh, my wife's mother, ano eh, she was very nice to me. And uh, in fact, uh, botong-boto siya sa akin. <laughs> so, <laughs> and not hard to believe naman. <laughs> <laughs> Siyempre, oh, oh. liligawan mo rin yung nanay. <laughs> 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 Yung pala ang style ni Sir Richard. Ligaw ng uh, babae, ligaw rin ng nanay. Uh, bakit siya botong-boto sa'yo? Uh, marami ka bang dalang bulaklak para sa kanya? Or pagkain? Eh? Uh, hindi naman. Siguro kasi I, I would always talk to her. Bumibisita kasi talaga ako sa bahay. Hindi ako yung type na sa labas tayo magkita. Yun, yun, nagpapakilala talaga ako because I was serious about it. So, of course, um, siguro that's what they look for in a guy na you know who is decent enough to come to the house, uh, magpakilala, ganon. So I'm curious now, Sir Richard, kung ikaw po you grew up with a very uh, fairly strict father who had rules or expectations set for you. Are you the same kind of father po with your children now? Marami ka rin bang mga rules or patakaran na kailan nilang sundin? In, hindi eh. I'm, I'm actually very opposite from my dad. Wala, I'm just very cool. I'm just very chill with my kids. You know, um, so you know, whatever they want, as long as it's not hurting them, as long as I see they're on the right path, okay lang sa akin. I'm just there to support them and to help them and to lead them, give advice when they need it. But as much as possible, I don't stop them from doing things that they want to do. And your children are 
grown up na rin now, di ba? I see on Instagram na lalaki na ng mga anak nyo. Yeah. My daughter is 26 and my son is 19. You know, my daughter graduated already. She's an influencer, a blogger and all that. She does she does her own thing. So at least okay na ako sa isa. Yung isa na lang in first year college. So <laughs> another three years. <laughs> hindi naman siya pre-med. <laughs> hindi, hindi. Nasa ano rin siya, business din siya, but hindi ko siya pinors to go into business. <laughs> yung daughter niyo, Sir Richard, uh, you said she's an influencer and a vlogger, pero ayaw niya pong mag-artista. When she was in college, she was offered na mag-artista siya. At that time, parang medyo interesado siya. Sabi ko, tapusin mo muna ang education mo. Finish college and then we'll talk about it. When she finished college, uh, in her fourth year in college, she was already starting blogging and all that. Medyo bi- na busy siya doon. When she finished college and she was doing all these uh, things already, I asked her, oh, ano, tapos ka na? Gusto mo pa ba? Sabi niya, ayaw na niya. <laughs> Bakit kaya nagbagong isip niya? Okay na daw siya sa ginagawa niya. Because even though hindi siya nag-artista and all that, medyo nakilala na rin siya through her own efforts, not not with my help. Medyo nakilala siya and then, you know, she was earning on her own already, getting endorsements also and all that, working with brands. She has her own time. She doesn't have a boss, except for the clients, of course. Yun, she can do what she wants at her own pace. Nakita rin naman niya ang hirap na mag-artista because we have to wake up early, we have to sleep late and all that. Sabi niya, dito na lang ako. Okay, I guess nakita niya, oh, tapos ngayon pa may lock-in, so medyo mahirap. Mm. Although medyo yeah. nag-ease na ng konti yung lock-in right now, di ba? Yeah. But now that, you know, they're all grown up, and then sabi mo nga, you're the cool dad. Di ba usually sa magulang, ano yan eh, good cop, bad cop. Does that mean yung wife mm. nyo ay mas stricto or pareho kayong chill parents? Um, depende. Pag hindi niya kaya, ako na. <laughs> may times na sabi niya, sabi mo nga, kausapin mo nga, ganito ganyan. So, sometimes ako na ang maging strict, you know, kung pagkailangan talaga. Oh, okay. At least, ano, parang may partnership, di ba? Yeah, parang uh, ano, it, it, tandem talaga kayo. Mm-hmm. Mahirap naman <laughs> kasi kasi minsan, kung siya parate, baka lumayo naman yung anak mo sa'yo because of that. So, there has to be a, a balance siguro. So, at least, ano, no, interchangeable yung roles ninyo as uh, mom and dad, di ba? Uh-huh. Oh, sometimes, pag okay. galit na galit siya, Sa anak ko, ako naman, ah, oh, kausapin ko lang na maayos. Minsan naman, pag ako ang galit, siya naman ang kakausap na malumanas. <laughs> parang, parang ano pala yun sa basketball, sub muna, sub. <laughs> ah, ah, ah. Kasi mahirap Pero, eh. <laughs> oo, mahirap pag isa lang yung masamang magulang. <laughs> mahirap kung parating ikaw. Oo, diba? that's true. Baka magkaroon na ng resentment. Pero, yes. Sir Richard, how long have you and your wife been married po? Uh, 29 years uh, wow. sa civil. Our church marriage is 27 years. Wow! So malapit na pala kayo mag-30. Ano ba ang 30? Pearl? Pearl ata ang 30. <laughs> At kabisado ko talaga. <laughs> so happy almost 30 years. <laughs> Konti na lang, malapit na pala. So were there ever times that you and your wife parang had gone through rough patches as well? I mean, I know in, in a in a strong marriage, in a, any strong, healthy marriage, parang any couple would have gone also through some rough patches somehow. Yeah, of course. Uh, everyone goes through that naman siguro, especially when you're younger. When you're younger, you still feel uh, sometimes parang ano ka pa rin, happy-go-lucky. You're not as a, as a mature. And of course, mas mature, mature naman ang babae kasi sa lalaki, mas kumbilis mo mature. So, <laughs> Sinabi niya yun, ha? <laughs> Yeah, in terms of, uh, eh, totoo naman yun eh. <laughs> of course, we went through our ups and downs also. Pero uh, the good thing is um, we stuck it out and communication talaga is the key. Kasi if you stop talking about it, you just you know go your separate ways. But I think it's a marriage naman kasi. It's a collaboration of two people who really want to stay together, di ba? Oh, that's such a nice way to put it. A collaboration of two people who really want to stay together. Kasi kailangan pareho kayong may gusto. Kasi di ba pag may isa na parang ayaw na, mahirap na to make it work. Yeah, yeah, that's true. People, you know, especially the kids, they think that uh, marriage is uh, all fun and games, but it's not like that eh, because uh, you have responsibilities, you you know, it's not like you're just dating, uh, makikita lang kayo pag gusto nyo. When you're married already, you're together all of the time. So, you know, you have to adjust, adjust to each other and... Uh, you know, give way. Hindi pwede na, like if you were, you were uh, just dating, kung anong gusto mo, kaya mong gawin lahat. Hindi na eh. Iba na eh. I'm 
wondering though, kasi di ba parang you experienced a lot of hardship in the beginning because yeah. your dad was against the relationship. Did that make it easier to stay together? Because parang ang dami yun ang pinagdaanan sa umpisa pa lang. So if you had been able to get through that, then it was smooth sailing from there? It went both ways. It was, it made us stronger by, you know, because uh, parang it's you and me against the world. Eh. So yun yung ano, uh, romantic side. But on the financial side also, it made it a lot more difficult because hindi ka ano eh, nobody helped you, so you have to make it on your own. Kami dalawa lang, we were, you know, sometimes syempre mag-aaway kayo kasi funds are running low and all that and you have to pay the bills and all that. So yun din ang cost ng mga ano nyo, yung conflict. In a way, may pros and cons din. <laughs> may times din na parang mag-aaway lang kayo because of that. Yun ang parang nagpapahirap din sa relationship. Pero- how long po ba kayo you and me against the world? Siguro, ano, eight years. Wow, from, that's a long time. Yeah, kasi my parents only fully accepted my wife Melody when we gave, gave birth to my son. But he was your youngest, so that means not even your daughter pa, hindi pa nun fully accepted. Yeah, hindi. Kasi when we gave birth to my daughter, hindi man na siya pinuntahan ng parents ko. For two years, they didn't see her. Dinala lang namin sa siya sa Cebu. That's the only time that they saw her. Pero they weren't excited about it. My wife gave birth to our son. Wala pang one month, nandito na sila. So makita mo yung difference. Because it was a boy? Ganun ba yun? Yes. So in those eight years, I mean, how, how did you keep going? I mean, what kept you strong? I mean, it's very difficult to be together with someone, happy with someone, but not have the support of your loved ones. I just told myself that kaya kong gawin to eh. eh this is the life i chose uh, panindigan ko to so that's how how i went into commercials because of course i was looking for other sources of income mm. so kaya ako pumasok doon even though i didn't want to do it i was actually about to ask that so um the the entry into show business was born out of a necessity as well um not really actually by that time medyo i was already comfortable before i went into showbiz oh. Okay. Medyo okay na. I had a business already. Um, but mm. the, the going into commercials was really more on the necessity side because I really felt stupid doing all these things. You know, the, the, the directors would ask you to do. How old were you then? Um, this was when you were newly married? Yeah, I was in my late 20s na. I felt so stupid. I said, you know, these are for the younger guys. <laughs> but uh, it really helped a lot also. And then so how did you eventually get into showbiz po? They were looking for me, actually. May problema ka ba sa career? Love life? Sex life? Or do you just need someone to talk to? Kahit gaano pa yan, kahit complicated. Pag-usapan natin yan sa Share Ko Lang Podcast. I'm Dr. Anna Tuazon, isang psychologist. Samahan niyo ako as we hear stories from personalities about issues that we all can relate to. May mapupulot ka pang tips para sa stronger and better version of you. Listen to Share Ko Lang Podcast, an original by GMA News and Public Affairs. Available on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, or wherever you listen. Hi, I'm Howie Severino. My colleagues and I developed this idea of creating a podcast as a safe space for sharing insights with leaders and interesting people across diverse backgrounds. I've been a journalist for 33 years as a newspaper reporter, news anchor, online editor, and documentary maker. But podcasting is fresh territory for me. Check out the Howie Severino Podcast, an original for GMA News and Public Affairs. New episodes will stream every Thursday. Listen for free on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, and other platforms. Empower yourselves and be safe. And then, so how did you eventually get into showbiz po? They were looking for me, actually. They were looking for me on Facebook because of the show My Been on the Girl. They were looking for someone to play Kim Chu's father. I saw a message that they were looking for this guy. My picture of me in the Chow King outfit. <laughs> but siguro, suerte lang because the production manager of the show was the cousin of my classmate in college. Oh. 
so they were able to contact me. And then after that, well, then the rest is history. <laughs> yeah, it was so quick. You wouldn't believe it. Did they have a difficult time trying to convince you to do the show? When my friend texted me, sabi niya na, my cousin is asking you if you want to be an artista. Sabi ko, at my age, sabi ko, I'm too old for that. Sabi ko, niloloko mo ba ako? Sabi niya, hindi, hindi, totoo to. I said, Sige, tingnan natin. Subukan natin. Sabi niya, they wanted to go, come, come and meet them daw. Sabi ko, sige, subukan natin. So I went there. They asked me to read a few lines. They took a video of me. And then sabi nung kumukuha ng video, sabi niya, pwede, pwede. <laughs> so, <laughs> so yun lang. They were telling me that uh, they have this show and all that, the plot and all that. Sabi ko, sige. Sabi ko, pero I have no experience. Ha? After that, the next week, they called me back again. They, they said the director wanted to talk to me. So when I went there, kinakausap na ako ng director na ito yung partner mo. Ito yung sabi ko, sandali, hindi pa ako umuot. At saka sabi ko, sigurado ba kayo? Because I have no background in acting and all that in showbiz. So sabi ko, ano lang, commercials lang talaga nagawa. So we talked and all that. And after that, I didn't think anything of it. Na. After a week, binigyan na ako ng script. Pinagala na ako ng script without even telling me. I asked my wife and my kids, sabi ko, okay ba sa inyo? Silang lahat, okay. Ako ang ayaw. <laughs> Three against one. <laughs> yeah. I said na parang, hey, hindi, kasi, hindi naman nanonood ng teleserye and all that. Sabi ko, parang feeling ko, ang baduy ko eh, sabi ko. <laughs> Actually, my wife was the one who told me, sabi niya, alam mo, ang dami nagpapakamatay para maging artista. Eto, inooferan ka. Bakit ka aayaw? Eh di kung ayaw mo, di umalis ka. Di ba? Sabi niya, subukan mo lang. So my daughter said yes also. Sabi niya, oh, sige, daddy, subukan mo. So, sige. Anyway, when they sent me the script, they called me up that night and said, ah, bukas may taping ka. Oh, sandilis. <laughs> <laughs> sabi ko, Sandali, hindi pa tayo nag-uusap tungkol sa paano yung bayad, oh, oh. kailangan ng contract, kailangan ba ako nagpalit ng pangalan or whatever. Sabi na, hindi na, okay na yan. Basta ito, bayad mo, ganito, punta ka lang bukas. Or day naman yung bayad, ganito, ganyan. Sabi ko, sige. <laughs> so that's how it starts. <laughs> so the hesitation came from the fact na wala kang experience in acting. Yes. Of oh, course. And okay. uh, ako kasi, medyo, I was a very private person. I hated taking pictures of myself, there was a point in time na wala ako masyadong pictures in my 30s, yung ganun na age. <laughs> so pag nag-Google pala kami, wala kami mahanap na picture ni Richard Yap in his 30s. <laughs> wala masyadong, thir- 20s, 30s, parang wala ako masyadong pictures. <laughs> na hindi pa, wala pang cellphone dati. Oo oh, nga no, puro ano pa yon, uh, develop ng picture yeah. yon. Oo. <laughs> Pero Sir Richard, at that time, so nung ginawa mo na yung show, what were you busy doing? You, ha- you were running y- your own family business. No, so, I was uh, working for a uh, uh, furniture company. At that time, I already had a chowking franchise. I had a partner. Okay, so parang napagsabay nyo yun. So when you started taping, mm-hmm. gano katagal before you resigned from the furniture company? After a year. Ah, wow. So for one year, napagsabay nyo pa siya? Yeah. Um, the show ran for seven months, so ano pa ako? I still was still working, and then when I got be careful with my heart na show, hindi na talaga ako nakapasok. Doon na ako na, <laughs> bumita ko na ako talaga. Ah, so that means nung no, you were taping My Beyond the Girl, payag sila na mag-leave ka lang, absent ka lang pag may taping yeah, ganon? Yeah, yeah, oo. Ah, okay. Pero nung be careful na, wala na, araw-araw na talaga ako, hindi na ako nakakapasok. Grabe. Kasi that was daily show. That was your first lead role, right? Yes, yes. Can you describe to us ano na yung experience mo when you were doing Be Careful? Was at the time na na-realize mo, oh wow, artista na talaga ako. Hindi lang artista, celebrity rin ako, kilala na ako ng lahat na ta. Oh. Yeah, kasi I couldn't go to the malls anymore. That's when I found out na iba na talaga because people would, you know, come to me for come up to me for pictures na and all that. I sabi ko parang bakit pa gusto nila magpa-picture sa akin? <laughs> Dati naman din yun, mao pinapansin nito mga. <laughs> so it took a while for me to understand na it comes with the job and also it you know, it's sort of what you're there for because some of them look up to you for inspiration eh. would you say that that was the show that changed or parang shifted your career parang marked the beginning of your rise to stardom is that how you would put it yeah of course I would credit it to that show because I think that was really phenomenal for all of us who were in the show because a lot of them got known also because they were in the show together with us not only here huh, but also abroad I have 
to be honest with you because I was such a fan of the show. I had a complete set of DVDs. Wow. You, you had the DVDs. So me, my mom, yeah. my daughter, my sister, my niece, all of us, super huge fans of the show. And, um, you know, we would even try to go to your restaurant before hoping na makakita ka namin. <laughs> <laughs> Sabi ng mom ko, let's go to the restaurant of Sir Chief. Baka makita natin siya. Of course, it never happened. But I'm sure she's listening to this episode. <laughs> I'm wondering if like the, the cast is you know still very close because it's been several years since the show. Um, we're still friends. Uh, we're still friends with a lot of the cast. But of course, we are all busy with each other, you know, with, with our own work. So, medyo hindi na rin kami nagkita for a while. I think the last time we saw each other first, was about three years ago. Ah, um, matagal na rin. Pre-pandemic. Na. Oh, oh. Yeah, yeah. So after that, medyo naging busy na yung lahat. Pero, uh, Sir Richard, kasi nga, di ba, parang sabi niyo, acting wasn't really something that you had planned on getting into. You said your wife was the one who encouraged you to do it. And then when you were already in showbiz, was there ever a time na nagselos yung asawa niyo with an on-screen partner or anything like that? Or she was really just purely supportive all throughout. My wife is amazing because she has been supportive of everything I've done. She's the one who actually, like, we had a live show. We had a concert somewhere. People were had, had been waiting for us for a long time. Sabi ng wife ko, sabi mo, kiss mo si Jody. Sabi ko, <laughs> talaga, sabi mo, magpaalam mo na ako. Sabi, sabi mo, huwag ka na magpaalam. I-surprise mo na lang. So I kissed her on stage, on the lips, ha? <laughs> <laughs> Pa, Supportive ano, <laughs> So I imagine the crowd went wild. Yeah, yeah. Of course, yun talaga ang hinihintay nila. Actually, gusto nila mag-end up kami together in real life. <laughs> Ay, siguro that's where your wife will draw the line na. <laughs> Actually, wala naman siya sinabi doon. Pero kasi kami ni Jody were really just friends na- naman. So hindi naman siya nagselos doon or whatever. But she's never been jealous of leading ladies I've had. You know, I play parts with. I mean, parang like, diba, Sir Richard, you have a YouTube channel also na parang kayo mismo ang uh, nagsushoot? Yes, yes. Yeah. Uh, parang <laughs> ano, mom and pop ano, operation lang yan. <laughs> Isn't it hard for you na ikaw gumagawa ng lahat? Uh, yeah, well, ano lang naman yan sa akin. Parang it's just a hobby-hobby lang para just to show the people what I'm doing also. Okay lang. Nasanay na rin ako. When I started out, medyo hirap. I guess nasanay na rin ako. It was my daughter who actually told me na mag- Ah, so siya yung nag-convince sa inyo. Yeah. Uh, I'm wondering, ano ba yung ibang mga pinagkakabalahan ni Richard Yap kapag hindi siya busy sa taping? I still run my business. I'm trying to put it back on track because during the pandemic, a lot of our clients uh, did not push through with their expansion and all that. Aside from the restaurant we have a uh, actually an interior office furniture business eh. so oh okay so kayo yung nagsusupply yeah we supply and install office furniture and uh, raised floors for let's say casinos or uh, call centers yung mga ganun. trying to bring it back on track because uh, nag cancel sa mga orders nila at that time so yun parang slowly we're coming back parang paano mo din divide yung time mo sir richard between um like taping and then handling the business meron ka bang strict schedule to follow or basta whenever you're free from taping that means you're focused on the business even when i'm taping they, they still you know text me and all that kailangan ko pa rin na tutukan that's why now i'm actually having a meeting after this para kasi i'm hiring someone to to do the day-to-day to manage the whole business because I think much better na full-time siya nakatutok dun. Kailangan talaga, I think I need help already with that because <laughs> um, we want to expand this year. So I think I really need more people to help me also. It sounds like um something you in one of your many roles would be doing, di ba? As a businessman. Yeah. <laughs> may meeting pa after this, tas may kausap na kliyente. Mm. <laughs> Okay, but uh, how about like, uh, meron ka bang mga sports or um, physical training that you're into? Well, now I've always been going to the gym since I was in, I think, high school until now. So, you know, it's it's really a lifestyle for me. So now I put up a gym in my own house, especially during the pandemic, kasi hindi tayo makalabas. So, nag-set up talaga ako, kinumpleto ko na. And aside from that, the, the sports I play now is golf na lang. Because I don't have time for the other stuff already. I used to do a lot. I used to scuba dive. I used to do taekwondo. I used to do archery when I was younger. I used to play badminton and all that. But uh, wala na. I don't have time for all that now. So I'm just sticking to golf for now. 
may something in common pala tayo si Richard. Nagta-taekwondo din ako before. <laughs> oh. What's your belt, Sir Richard? I I stopped at red, but I was supposed to take the exam already. Gusto na na kasi yung Korean instructor ko, he wanted me to to go to black already. Kasi na sobrang tagal ko sa red. Sabi niya, ano ka na para mag-black ka na? Ayoko na. Ayoko na. <laughs> Hindi ko na na-memorize yung mga, yung mga, ano, yung mga forms. <laughs> Kasi di ba pag black belt, yun ay yung kailangan nasisira mo na yung ano eh, break mo na yung parang mm, yung plywood ba yun? Yeah, yung boards. Yeah. Yan. Yeah. Oo. So, yeah. hindi na ako umabot ng black belt. <laughs> Not surprising, but <laughs> just sharing. Mahilig po ba kayo sa travel, Sir Richard? Uh, yeah, very. That's what our family bonding is really. When we're here, we're always doing our own stuff. So, we make an effort na mag-travel kami together at least minimum twice a year. Minimum. Yes, para, you know, we can spend time na kami lang talaga. So, nagawa nyo na yun, um since pandemic to travel out of the country. Kasi a lot of people medyo hesitant pa, pero marami rin na talaga excited to travel again. Yes, uh, this year, um, tra- we traveled twice already. We went to Bangkok and uh, we went to Singapore also. We were very lucky when we were in Bangkok. Uh, they had just opened up. Wala pang mga tourists. And we were the only ones there. Actually, parang we were the first Hindi naman siguro first Filipinos, but uh, kami lang nagtutour. So when we went to the temples, there was no line, nothing. Kami lang. Very smooth sailing yung ano, yes. pagbisita ninyo. Yeah. Uh, at this point, Sir Richard, um, first of all, we'd like to thank you. Alam naman that you're very busy. As you said, uh, galing kang immersion, tapos meron ko pang meeting after this. So we'd like to thank you so much for spending time with us today. Um, but just to wrap things up and end things on a light note. Mm-hmm. Ako, I was surprised by uh, your appearance today <laughs> as our surprise guest. Thanks again for this. I know I asked you when you were at the ball if you could yeah. please, please surprise me. <laughs> but I didn't know that you actually would. <laughs> <laughs> so thanks for that. Uh, but here, we have a little game that our staff prepared, that our team prepared mm-hmm. for you so we could get to know <laughs> you a little bit more. It's called Yup or Yap, as in Yap. Yap or not? Basically, yes or no. Okay, our okay. first question is for uh, Sir Richard Yap. Daring roles in the future, Yap or not? <laughs> <laughs> Parang hirap sagutin eh. Kasi uh, depende gano ka daring, no? <laughs> yeah, depende. <laughs> Para sa'yo, ano na ang pinaka-daring that you would do? That's a uh, tough one. Siguro top off lang siguro. That's it. <laughs> 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 I think ano, I think your fans would ano be quite happy now with uh, that. Okay na sila doon. <laughs> okay, so now we know uh, on the record. <laughs> kung ano, ano pinaka daring na papayag si Richard Yap. Next question, uh, Yap or not? Mag showbiz ang anak. Yep. Why not? No problems there. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so, uh, easy yes yan. Mm-hmm. Oh, this one, ako, ito kailangan, baka, baka mas kailangan pag-isipan. Running for a congressional seat again in Cebu. We know that you just ran last elections, right? Uh, and before that. Yeah, yeah. Parang, as of now, it, I'm not thinking about that anymore. Parang, I'd rather concentrate on the, the career and my, my business. Parang yun ang mundo. Mang priority ko ngayon. All right, oh, that's very clear. Oh, gets yeah. namin yon. Regular posting on social media, yap or not? Uh, it should be a yap, but uh, sometimes <laughs> I tamad ako. I I forget to take pictures and all that. Pero kasi, Sir Richard, kayo mismo ang humahawak ng social media account niyo, di ba? Hindi mo yes. pinapagawa sa ibang tao. Hindi, hindi. No. Kaya tamad. <laughs> okay. And then, malinaw naman eh. Parang you can tell pag yung artista mismo ang may hawak ng social media niya or pinapahandle niya sa iba. So it's nice. At least alam namin, very authentic yung mga post niyo. Okay, next. May December affair na role. Yap or not? Yap. Yes? Okay. Me- yeah. me- meron ba kayong naisip na pwedeng... Uh, ka-partner sa ganong klaseng role? Uh, sino ba ang May? Sino ang December? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> it can work both ways. <laughs> uh, kung ano, kung, kung ikaw yung May, sino yung December? <laughs> <laughs> may naisip ka ba? Wala, wala Baka may ma-offend pag kinabi ko siya <laughs> Okay, sige Ay, Kung baliktad, meron, wala rin Actually, nagtatawa nga kami kanina kasi the doctors were saying Si Jillian ba ang kalab team mo dito? <laughs> extreme May December na yon. <laughs> Hindi na. January to December na. 
Oo nga. How about international stars? Wala kang naisip na siya yung December or siya yung May for you? <laughs> Ayun ko, maganda yata magipag-pair up with the Korean star. Actually, pwede, no? Sir Richard, mahili ka ba sa K-drama? Oh, well, since my wife is watching it, wala akong choice. <laughs> Anong pinapanood nyo ngayon? The last, uh, Attorney Wu. Oh my gosh, para ako tayong pinapanood, Sir Richard. <laughs> Before that, we fin- just finished the, the Ghost Doctor. Ah, okay. Yeah. O, nako. Lalagay ko yun sa list ko maganda para rin, maano. Rin. So, Sir Richard, if somebody invites you to um, be part of a K-drama, would you say yes? Oh, yeah. Definitely. <laughs> Definitely. Is it something that you want to actively work towards or parang if, if the opportunity comes? Uh, why not? Diba? Bill, Bill Duke actually reached out to me one time. That was before the pandemic. He said that he wanted to do a spy movie or, or film, but uh, I wasn't able to leave for LA. It's been more than three years now. I don't know if the offer is still on the table, but sayang. I don't know. Pwede. Pwede. Pang Hollywood naman, di ba? Yeah. Who knows, di ba? I mean... <laughs> I mean, you didn't expect to enter showbiz uh, when you did. So, <laughs> malay yeah. natin, di ba, Sir Richard? Just to wrap things up, uh, is there anything that you want to say to all your fans and supporters who continue to support you in this journey of yours? Yeah, of course, I'd like to thank all our Kapuso fans for uh, always being there for me and for supporting me throughout the years. Also, please watch out for our show, Abot Kami na Pangarap. It's going to be showing in September. It's something that I know that may kurut talaga sa puso. You will feel uh, very connected to the characters there. So please watch out for it. Uh, it's starring Jillian Ward, Carmina Villaruel, Dominic Ochoa, Wilma Dasan, ako, Chucky Dreyfus. Oh, okay. It's a big cast rin pala. Yeah, yes. Nako, abangan namin yan, Sir Richard, uh, this coming September. Again, thank you so much. Thank you for this wonderful surprise today. <laughs> thank you, thank you. I had a good time doing this also. Thank you, Pia. Uh, maybe one time I should invite you to my uh, to the restaurant so that we can have dinner together. Para matupad na yung pangarap yeah. kong makita ka sa restaurant, <laughs> Sir Richard. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. This amazing surprise was planned by the team of Ronald Ramido and Aubrey de los Reyes, edited by Shirley Paghiligan with the wonderful people of GMA News and Public Affairs Digital. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Till the next surprise!